Hey everyone, this is Darren with Amara, and today I wanted to show you how to break and create uh, new subtitle entries and resync them. So most of the time that you need to do this is actually when you're translating. And you'll know you need to do this when you are translating and you notice that your subtitle is too long and it exceeds the number of characters that the job needs. Um, this is usually either 32 characters per line or 42 characters per line. If you notice that your translation is going over this one of these two numbers, depending on your job, you will need to break this subtitle into two individual subtitles and retime them. To do this, first find the right place to break the subtitle. As we know, subtitles should be broken in a way that follows grammatical rules. I wouldn't really want to break this phrase right here or here, um, since that kind of breaks up the sentence. What I really want to do is break it right here, which flows really nicely with how this sentence is, is spoken. So once I've decided where to break the subtitle, I'm going to highlight everything um, from that break point after and cut that. Once you've done that, hover your cursor to the subtitle directly below this and click the little plus sign on it. What this does is creates a new blank subtitle which you can paste uh, the subtitle that you just cut into it. Once you do that, notice that it's still too long for what I'm trying to accomplish. It's still over 42 characters. So in this case, find the place where you want to break the subtitle where it fits the grammatical flow of the sentence and actually hit shift enter to put this one subtitle onto two lines. So Amara tries to estimate how to time this new subtitle, but it, sometimes it doesn't get it totally perfect, so it's important to double check the syncing before moving on. So play the video and use either your up or down arrows to modify the syncing um, in point or out point, as well as you can just, as always, click and drag on the timeline. Now you're going to need to reline up your reference language with your translation. To do this, just click the lock icon, scroll your translation to fit, and then hit that lock button again, and they'll scroll together. Ta-da, you're done. You just broke a subtitle into two and resynced it. 